Hey everybody, it's your friend Kevin here with my friend Freddie the Teddy from Charlotte, North Carolina here on Thursday the 6th of January 2023. This is your card of the day. All right, my friends, we're using Angel Wisdom Tarot by Radley Valentine, images by Dan Craig. So here we go. Angels, ancestors from all four corners of the globe, thank you for giving us this opportunity to bring you a me to bring us a message through this these cards. I set the intention that whatever is gained be for the highest good of all those listening. So be it. And so shall it be. There we go. Oh, I like this. Looks like a teacher. Put that over there. Sorry, my sleeve is in the way. Well, great sadness that will heal with time. Let go of the past, personal growth that comes, uh, comes from challenges, healing, misunderstandings, and be there for those in need. So this is the three of air. <clears throat> you know, air cards are all about the thinking and the ideas. And here we see somewhat of an archangel, Azrael, who comes to comfort those who feel a sense of sadness, a sense of sorrow. What this card says for me today is you might be looking forward with um, um, aspirations, opportunities. You might be looking forward with uh, hope, uh, seeing how your life, the world is going to pan out for you. But it's necessary to let go of and mourn the death of who you used to be. When we're sorting through and sifting ourselves for growth, there is still a part of who we were on the journey that sort of gets attached to us. It gets attached to us through our friendships, through our relationships, through our past discoveries, but we've grown from it. And Archangel Azrael is basically here to say the growth, the movement forward, the opportunities are tough because it means that we have to give things up to make room for new things. So if you are in a state of somewhat sadness, maybe you've had to move past a relationship. Maybe you've had to say goodbye to some friendships. Perhaps you've got some new friendships and your former friendships feel like they don't fit in with you. And truly, they don't. So use the comfort of Archangel Azrael and the comfort that growth comes with to heal, to let go and know, feel comfortable that what you have to let go of perhaps are sometimes the ideals that don't serve you anymore, the ideas that you're not worthy, the ideas that you don't deserve. All of these things have to be let go of. And there is a sadness. There is a part of you that might feel, well, I don't deserve it, because that's the old part of you. And the new part of you is saying, yes, you do. Archangel Azrael is actually one of the archangels I work with because I do speak to the relatives of ancestors who've crossed over and there's a kindness about his energy. And perhaps the element here, the energy here is today, treat yourself with kindness, even if you might be feeling a little sad. So let's read the three of um, air. Um, let's see what we find. Because this, I love, oh, here we go. I like this um, guidebook. It's thick and juicy and full of information. Um, this card indicates the need for emotional healing, it reflects that there's sadness in your life at this time. Hmm. It might be a recent development or it could be something from the past that continues to weigh heavily upon your heart. 
like myself. The three elements of healing are time, forgiveness and allowing loved ones to help you. If part of your sadness is due to questions about why something happened, ask your angels to bring understanding and clarity around this issue. The three of air encourages you to actively deal with your sorrow rather than pushing it away or penetrating or pretending it doesn't exist. By working through it, you set the stage for healing in the near term instead of having to revisit unhappy emotions over and over and over again. Forgiveness of others, forgiveness of yourself, loneliness, healing, misunderstanding. What emerges from the challenging situation strengthen us. Relationship concerns, being there for others in need. These are all part of what today's energy is. You could be the facilitator of somebody else's liberation from their old ways of being, from their old feelings. You could be the facilitator for someone who isn't forgiving themselves, for someone who's caught up in worry and sorrow. Let me tell you something. Um, these wisdom cards are pretty powerful. And I'm going to put it to you that just because this is the three of air and it comes with the element of perhaps sadness, it doesn't mean the sadness is landing in your own nest. It could be that you are tapping into the elements of Archangel Azrael, the way that I've discovered him, to say, I'm here to help other people who feel that way. I'm here to help other people to light the light and open their heart to something better. This is energy that doesn't necessarily have to be, oh my gosh, here we go again. And if it is, use this time, this day and this energy and this message to stand up and say, okay, Archangel Azrael and the angels of forgiveness, the angels of compassion, the angels of love, the angels of glory to lift me up above this bridge so that the troubled waters that I might be facing, that other people might be facing, can just rush on up underneath the bridge. Every single moment, every breath in is something new. Each inhale is a new life. Each exhale lets us let go of stuff. Um, I'll share this personally. Yesterday, I hit a bit of a wall, and I'll share what it is. Um, you know, during the pandemic, there was all sorts of funding out there for people, particularly small businesses. I didn't know how I was going to survive. I didn't know where I was going to get my next dollar from because both my streams of income shut down. It was scary. It was challenging. And I kept going. I exhausted all my savings. I did have some help by doing some side work that did help me move through. The studio I taught yoga for did come through with some uh, help. And so those mild, meek times, I was able to obviously feed myself, take care of my dogs. And in that whole year, I lost four fur babies to old age, to illness. That was tough. The way we had to basically say goodbye to them wasn't easy. Vets offices were closed down. At one point, I had to drive one of my pups in the back of my truck and drop them off, literally, at the back of some facility. It was tough, hard. I'm not using this as a way for you to feel sorry for me. I'm just saying that sadness, that act, that act of selflessness and love brought me to something else. Before long, I discovered that there was funding available for small businesses. I took advantage of it. I am glad, open, grateful that that funding was available because it has kept me going, allowed me to help other people, allowed me to keep the lights on, allowed me to keep my business afloat, allowed me to carry on buying supplies. Yet, I live on my own. I'm supporting six dogs, rescued more after they left, after the ones that left, left. 
And still, it brings me to the point of, I've got to forgive myself for sometimes not being able to sometimes meet my financial obligations. I'm not the only one. There's a lot of other people that have difficult time meeting their financial obligations. So this card to me is basically saying, I can be sad and sometimes feel vulnerable that I'm doing something like this, borrowing money, what have you. And I can feel a little somewhat shameful that, gosh, I've got this debt. If you listen to that Ramsey man, you shouldn't have debt. You should cut up credit cards. You should this, you should that, you should the other thing. I don't know, that's leading to a, leading to a bit of judgment. What I got to is that Archangel Azrael and some beautiful, wonderful friends of mine that are helping me out with their insight, their readings. That nothing is so great that we cannot surpass it, providing we have faith to walk the bridge of forgiveness, to walk the bridge of understanding. And the biggest part of understanding is every situation that we all face together. Because I'm saying this to you and somebody's listening to this and they're having the same issue. We're all in doing this thing as one. We're a power of one, which means the things that we are facing are meant to be faced. Odd as that sounds, they're meant to show us how resilient we are, how powerful we are, how we've got the ability to move through it with the faith and the grace of God and the hope for better days. I love you and I hope this is helping you. And uh, tomorrow we'll have another message. <laughs> Bye.